Who is your least favorite gay YouTuber? <laughs> Hi everyone, today we're doing truth or drink. Kill me now. Kill us now. I we're scared. Yeah, we're, we're scared. scared. We're, we're a bit nervous. Basically, I think how it works is we have questions and if we want to answer them, we answer them. If we don't, we have to take a drink as a consequence. So we have Malibu here and I just have to show you these shot glasses. These are masterpieces right here. These were sent to us in a P.O. box from such a beloved fam member. Denise, thank you so our much. queen, thank you so much for these bitch pound shot glasses. We are going to be using them tonight. I think on that note, we have to do a little bitch pound for the bitch pound cups. We asked you guys to send us questions, so we picked a couple each, wrote them down, and then put them in here. So we're just gonna pick out of there. I think honestly, some of these are lose-lose. Like I saw your guys' questions. Obsessed with sex, obsessed with exes. No, no, no. I want to get into my details. Okay. We went through a different set of questions <laughs> altogether. You started at the top, I started at the bottom. Right. I truly did start at the bottom because every question that I saw was about poop. What's, <laughs> what's wrong with you? There had to be about 15 questions in like a session. 15 questions about poop and bum. All right, it. should we, like you said, let's get one to loosen us up a bit. Yeah, we need to start her off real strong, have the drink. Oh. Okay. All right. I ain't as young as I once was, Holly. Cheers to our relationship, regardless of what comes out of either of our mouths. Healthy relationships. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. All right, I've got a piece of paper in my hands, right or left? Right. So I ask first. Have you ever gone through your partner's phone? No, I have not. I've never gone through your phone. I haven't either. Who would be more open to a threesome between us? Me. I think it depends on the person. Who is the threesome member? If Lexa was here, I'm sorry, I would fight you to the death. <laughs> I guess there no wouldn't be a threesome anymore. <laughs> I, was gonna, I slay you so that I could be with her alone. <laughs> Have you ever said you like something the other person was wearing when you didn't like it? I'm just gonna do this. What was it? You can't ask that. Why wouldn't you just tell me the truth? You can't ask that. That's Babe? Communication 101. Babe? Just, you I would, I always want you to be, Babe? I'm not built for this You just said the rule. I don't like the rule. just history. said the rule. What is it? Was it like an everyday outfit or? Nope. Was it someone? <laughs> It's your answer now. I feel like that was a real low ball to take a shot on. No, I've never said I like something that you were wearing that I didn't like. Biggest relationship regret. I honestly, I don't think I have one. The only thing that comes to my mind is just not dating you sooner. Oh. I do have one actually. The one thing would be that I didn't go to your Canadian citizenship ceremony. Mm. And I had to, and I went to work instead. I regret that. What is the first negative trait that you noticed about each other? Okay, that's just a mean question because I love you. You picked it. I know. I know. <laughs> but I really was hoping I wasn't gonna get it first. If there was one thing that I was like, we're different a little bit on this thing, okay. is you are more quickly to anger than I, and you're moody. So that's two that, things. Sorry, that's that's just one in the same. One in the same. First negative trait I thought about you. I know what it is. It was wrong, but was that you were a bad student? Ah, okay. Yeah, I wasn't. Getting pretty ballsy here. I thought you were gonna be drinking some more. You better get on my level. I'm a shot ahead. I'm double your. Well, drinks. to be honest, I was kind of thinking like I have nothing to hide. I don't see myself drinking for many. There is one that I'm gonna drink for that I wrote down. Okay. Rank your exes best to worst. Do I have to say names or can I use code names that you understand? Well, you can use code names for me. Or should you? No. No. I want names. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna name them. Oh my god, that's a big one. Can I pour some back? No. That's exactly what I did for my last one. Didn't, didn't you see? No, I didn't. Oh, I swear to god, I had a really full shot. Or you're gonna have another one soon, I'm sure. Because remember, you you pushing for names means you have to name names too. No, babe! Yeah, I didn't think that far ahead, did you? All right, let's hear him. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, honey, that. You're right. What is your favorite sex position? All of YouTube wants to know. Are you going to answer that for your parents? I've already planned on telling my family not to watch this video. My favorite sex position is. 
I like being up against something. That's very funny because I was going to say, I don't know if there's a name for it. Mm -hmm. Tell me if there's a name, but up against like a wall or a bed frame mm -hmm. or something. That yep. would also be mine. Did you ever think about me sexually before becoming friends? My answer is yes. My answer is absolutely yes. As soon as I knew anything about you, I thought of you sexually. <laughs> we were never meant to be friends. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Worst date you've ever had. Oh, I was stood up. What an idiot. Yeah. Oh, I know who that was. Mm -hmm. Idiot. I know exactly what my worst date was. This is back when I was still figuring myself out and was desperately trying to find a connection with a man. I think we went to see a movie. We went back to his residence and he goes, are you hungry? I can cook for you. So I'm like, yes, I am. So anyway, he brings over uh, two packets of Mr. Noodles and um, he then starts just telling me a story about how his ex cheated on him and he was that angry he broke into her house stole this teddy bear that he had bought for her took it into a field and shot it up with his friends i didn't know we were talking about this story i thought you were talking about the story with the lettuce <gasps> that's another bad day we could make an entire video, we could on, bad make a video on that yeah uh -huh. you want one let us know rose or rosie both that's not the answer you get one i can't i can't pick then you better be taking a shot. It I also don't like that they always get compared it's, in comments. It's a travesty. It truly is. Rose or Rosie. <laughs> Rose. Any explanation? No. Is there anything I do that reminds you of an ex? If so, what? I just <laughs> I, I really the long pause. <laughs> uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Moodiness. Yep, that I know who that's from. So be it. How about you? Yes, indecisiveness. I knew that. I could have told you that. Uh, yeah. We've talked about this one before. Yeah. What's your biggest fear about this relationship? That difficulties with distance and family will be too much. Yep, that's fair. Mine is falling out of love with each other. Why is that even on your mind? Well, it's just, I think that would be the worst way for any relationship to end. I think it's so easy for a relationship to end when someone does the other wrong or makes a mistake or cheats, you know, and, and stuff like that. It's so easy to break up like that and it's out of your control completely mm -hmm. and for our relationship to end at all, especially out of something out of my control, that would scare me to death. Has anyone ever walked in on you during sex? Yes. And who? Don't know. Random at the bar. You were there. <laughs> There's been more than one occasion, honey. What else? At the bar. Oh. Hooking up in a bathroom. Hot as hell, right? Wrong when you forget to lock the bathroom door. A simple swish of the... Mm. Swish of the lock could have done. Yeah. Why didn't we lock the door? I don't know. Do you remember? We didn't even care. Like, it was very... Top tier. Hot and heavy. It was good. All of a sudden, <laughs> we open our eyes to an entire crowd. Bathroom door opens, everybody's there waiting in line to use the bathroom. There they see us. We go, keep going. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Mind your business. <laughs> Have you ever thought of someone else while having sex? Yes, and I've answered this question before. It's Lexa. On your own or with me? With you. Wait, what? Not on my own. Oh, that would be more normal. Oh, what? Okay. Just kidding. You close your eyes and think it's Lexa? For a second. I have. Sorry, I don't kink shame, that's fine. I'm sensing some, some heavy heat. <laughs> How about you? Yes. And who? That wasn't part of the question. Babe, I answered it. You answered it. <laughs> Don't you dare. Yeah. It was more of a thought of like comparison. Thinking how much better it was than the time I was thinking about you with the other person. It's supposed to be a cop of it, but it, it came out a bit, bit of a maze to get there. I understand your frustration. <laughs> Looks like quite a save if you ask me. That's me being very honest. Who was your least favorite gay YouTuber? <laughs> No. Oh, no, 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 no. I ain't getting into this. And I'm gonna bore yours too. I'm going <laughs> Go. You hate the whole community? Paige, that's so problematic. <laughs> Damn, would you like the answer? You're talking a lot of smack talk. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Maybe I can't. We're too old for this. We're too old to drink like this. Well, maybe be more truthful. You don't have to drink so much. Maybe we should make better drinks. Maybe we should learn on Skillshare. 
too drunk to do a, <laughs> to do a next segue. <laughs> there once was a time not too long ago. They used to call us alcoholy and plastered page. We drank like fish and swam like dolphins. Uh, Paige, are you still drunk? Maybe. Anyways, now that we're adults, our taste buds have developed and our bodies are too old and frail to handle the hangover. Luckily, we stumbled across Skillshare and our lives changed forever. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes you can join online. We've been using Skillshare to explore our creativity and learn more about things that interest us. This time, it happens to be drink related. We just took a class called Cocktail Secrets Making Your Signature Drink taught by Ivy Mix. We learned how to mix and present our own signature your drink and let me tell you it slapped no more drinking like we live in a frat house except for this video anyway skillshare has classes on everything from productivity to cooking to photography it's designed to help you learn so there are no ads to get in your way plus it's less than ten dollars a month with an annual membership if you guys are interested the first thousand people to click the link in the description will get a free trial to premium membership so you can explore your creativity thanks skillshare thank you alcohol and Skillshare. And Skillshare. This was a dangerous combo. <laughs> bitch pound. Shh, bitch pound. For Skillshare. How many sex partners have each of you had? I'm gonna drink just for the sake of our relationship. I feel like you're a bit, you're a bit on the edge, Paige. I'm not sure where we're going. Five. Including you. Five. Who gets in the mood more often than the other? You get in the mood more often. It's easy. You're an animal, what can we say? If you had to have a three-way with an ex, who would it be? If I had to? Yeah, a gun to your head. Why are you so mad already? I just hate your exes, so... <laughs> oh, I love yours. Don't think about any of my feelings. Think about just if you had to pick one. The, the one before you. Awesome. <laughs> really awesome. Which one? The first of those four. Name one thing you'd like to change about your partner. That's quite drastic. Okay, well first off, I really wouldn't actually change anything about you. Neither would I. But if I had to, yeah, um, go for the throat, babe. it would be the m moodiness. Yep. Because I'm very affected by mood. Yep. If somebody's in a bad mood, I, I get there too, mm -hmm. and I wish I didn't, but I do. I, I would like you to have more confidence and self-esteem in yourself. Well, Holly, we're narrowing it down here. Almost there. Is this my writing? Yes. This is the one I knew I would drink for. <laughs> Who is your least favorite of their family members? How dare you even put that in there? That's sick. That's a bit much. You getting mine ready too, because you know I'm not going to say it? Oh, I already know. I don't even know who I would say. Like, that's just so stressful. That's what I mean. Shot pound. Shot pound. Oh. Well, that was the last question. Ends it on the on the shot too. Did you gain anything good for the relationship out of this? I didn't. I can't think of a no. We are very open with a lot of things. Yes. Some of these went they they pushed the limits, so well I'm disappointed. Well, I'm really drunk. Well I'm disappointed. I'm also in the same What are you disappointed? <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell the words are my saying. answers. <laughs> Why was I disappointed? While I did not respect how difficult these decisions and choices were to make and I didn't like to hear them, mm. I respect you all for providing creative and detailed and explicit messages. Even you, poopy bum. Mic <laughs> drop. What better way to end it? I would like to preface that although some of these may have seemed a bit rough, there hasn't been one really that we haven't already spoke about in some sense. We've discussed these a lot so don't worry if we have some banter back and forth we're okay aren't we Paige? all as well tell, tell them everything is fine we're okay we're better than ever <laughs> yeah we're drunk now okay um this has been a fun drunk video you made us this was full how much is left not even a shot all right yeah we're gonna sign off now four minute outro we love you all so much and we love each other even more don't we baby we sure do love <laughs> <laughs> you gonna give me a hug?